Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn. Get your cotton candy. Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou wished that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead. Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Look out! Caillou, you tricked us. That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou. Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, but Caillou was having lots of fun with Clementine indoors. They were playing a new computer game called Dig and Build. Nice one, Clementine. You carry on building the base while I go into the forest and find us some more wood. 
Okay, Caillou, but be careful. The forest is full of giant spiders. Caillou, what are you doing sitting inside? I told you to stop playing that video game ages ago. We can't stop now, Mommy. It'll be dark soon and we have to get the base ready before the monsters come. You and Clementine have been playing inside all morning. It's a beautiful day. You should be outside playing in the garden. Just five more minutes, please. Yeah, please. No, that's enough. Turn it off now. Okay, I did warn you. Mommy, we weren't finished yet. That was your last chance, Caillou. You're grounded. No more video games today. You have to go outside and help Daddy and I with the chores. But, Mommy... Come on, off you go outside. Otherwise, it'll be no more video games tomorrow, either. Caillou was very grumpy. He didn't want to go outside. He wanted to play more of his video game. <laughs> What are we supposed to do out here? Well, you can start by helping Daddy. He's been raking up all the leaves and sticks from the lawn. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Caillou. What's the matter? Mommy turned off our video game. She said we have to come and do chores outside. Well, she's right, Caillou. Video games are lots of fun, but playing them too much isn't good for you. I know. Why don't you help me finish collecting these leaves, and then we can play a game. Deal? Okay, I guess. Hey, Clementine! Look at this! Wow! It's just like Dig and Build! You're right! We can finish building our base after all. There we go. Now we each have a pickaxe, a spade, and an axe. Perfect. Now we can start to collect some materials to build our base. It'll be nighttime soon, so we'll have to be quick. Good idea. Let's go and collect some stones first. I think I saw some over there. Great, let's go. You were right, Caillou. There's loads of stones here. Caillou and Clementine collected the stone using the pickaxes they had crafted. My bag's almost full. We should head back to base and start building. There! That looks awesome. Now we'll need to make some walls and a door. Let's go and gather some more wood and sticks. Great idea! We can get some from that tree over there. Caillou and Clementine used the axes they had crafted to gather the wood from the tree. Hey, where did my rake go? <laughs> wow, I thought Caillou would still be grumpy, but it looks like they're having lots of fun doing the chores. There, that should be plenty. Quick, let's go and finish the base. It's starting to get dark. Phew! We did it! Yeah, and just in time. Let's get inside. We can build some more in the morning when it's safe. What an awesome base we've built! I know. It's better than our video game base. <gasps> oh, what was that? Don't worry. Nothing will be able to get us while we're in here. <gasps> oh, no! We left the front door open! Close it, quick! A... Yeah. Uh, uh, a monster! Hurry, Caillou! We'll have to use the secret exit to escape! Trapped! No! Meow! Get 
Gilbert! It was you all along! Great job, guys! You've tidied up the whole garden. No, we didn't. We were playing dig and build. We just finished building our base when a monster attacked us. Luckily, it turned out to be Gilbert. My goodness. Well, all these adventures must have made you both hungry. How about we go inside and I can make you a snack? We can't. We have to make some adjustments to our base. Yeah. What if we get attacked by a real monster next time? Caillou loved playing his video game with Clementine. But building a real base outside was much more fun. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo was struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with cave girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain, past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro- I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Teddy! <laughs> Thank you.
why you and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool. When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get. Yellow one. I want yellow one. Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie. Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great! Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou! Caillou, come and look at this! It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course! Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there. I'm Jesse. Hi! I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. 
So you were driving it. Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's okay, you almost had it. I can help you. There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside. And sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise egg sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg. <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go. What surprise did you get, Caillou? I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. <laughs>